You guys, it's been, what, a week since I've done another? What? Welcome to another Katie Does Commentary. And today, we have Prozac Nation, and this is a commentary track. I feel like I've already established that, but I will be doing also a review on my other channel. And... Um, I do kind of do mini reviews at the end, and I feel like throughout when you, you know, listen to what I have to say about the movie, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, like, I get what, how she feels about it, but, you know, I feel like it's easier just to make more, maybe a shorter video, just summarizing my thoughts. I'm going to also be scribbling down notes about the movie, so that way I can make a a rather decent review. I'm doing reviews differently now. Before I would just ramble for many minutes and it would be one long take. Now it's different, okay? Now it's different. <laughs> so we're gonna do Prozac Nation. I've seen this movie before once and that was a while ago. I, I must have watched it like it's at least been a year since I've seen it. So, I'm probably not going to remember everything. Um, I will do at least two more Disney animated movies. It's just like, I'm kind of inspired to, you know, go off doing other stuff. So right now, I don't know, Prozac Nation, I don't know, for some reason it's been on my mind of like, I need to do that one. I need to like, talk about it. Um, because I feel like Christina gives a great performance and it's a decent movie. Let me see how much I remember. Um, there's a lot of famous people and great people in this movie. Another one I need to do is Monster. Holy shit. That movie. That movie is cray cray. Um, also because it's based off a true story. This is also based off of a memoir. Um, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to be hitting play in three, two, one. And if you guys are looking for a copy of this movie, you can get a digital copy for rather free. I'm not being, I'm not sponsored. I've never been sponsored a day in my freaking life. But um, it's on Amazon. You can get like a digital copy like for either $5.99 or $7.99. I think that's a pretty fair price if you ask me. So I'm excited because... I haven't seen it in a while. So yeah, this is based off of a memoir. Um, so, based off of a true story. Millennium Films. Mind you, the Millennium Falcon. Let me just get out a piece of paper. Okay. okay. I cannot pronounce that last name. It's okay, not many people can pronounce my last name. I love the title sequence, the opening titles. Jason Biggs. I don't know if y'all agree with me, but I feel like Jason Biggs plays... Michelle Williams, that's right. I feel like Jason Biggs plays the same character like over and over again. And just clang! Can't believe I forgot. I don't know why I'm snapping, giving her snaps. Like we're in poetry reading class or whatever. Prozac Nation. I do like this title sequence. This is what, like, is this 90s or 2000s? I can't remember. Um, let me see. Lou Reed, that's right. She's like obsessed. She likes Lou Reed. Prozac Nation, 2003. And it was given a 28% on Rotten Tomatoes? Psh, I already know I don't agree with that. Hmm, okay. Another one that's, I think, going to be worth looking at while watching again is uh, Girl Interrupted. 
Oh, and Christina Ricci co-produced. Cool. A lot of producers. Lots of producers. I've seen Goal or Interrupted. Um, it has a lot of famous people. It's got, like, Elizabeth Moss in it. I'm like, dang. Okay. Okay. A true story. Can we just say Christina Ricci looks the same? Because she does. Aw. Shit. Oof. Oh! It's turning into carry really fast. Oh hell, your period. Oh, God. Poor thing. There is blood in my pants, but it's like, did you tell your daughter, like, oh, like, sometimes you bleed, you know, when you reach a certain age? No, oh, I remember this part. They do it on their legs to hide it because it's easier to, for them to hide. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot. Like, there was, like, some... People would talk about, like, oh, she's topless, like, randomly. Like, why is she topless? <laughs> like, I don't get it. Oh, because now I remember. It's like they have an inappropriate relationship. Dang. Your what? Your rug. <laughs> That's so weird. You ought to take your rug. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was aiming for psychotic. I do like those, uh, those are a pretty good selection of shots. It kind of shows the distance between the two characters. You know what I mean? And I like that they don't really share the frame. And if they do, it's like, oh yeah, look, it's like they're blurred. That's a very, sometimes when you're first making films, like shorts, you don't really think about, Oh, like, well, how do I want to frame this that is fitting to the characters and their relationships with each other? They don't really share... They didn't, like, share that, like, reflection. And I think that's very symbolic. They don't share the same vision. It's the whole thing of when the parent wants to wants to their kid to have a different life. They're living vi you know, what's that word did that word vicariously through their children? Yeah, shit. And those toothbrush holders. Pretty cool. I like how that's what I'm noticing during this moment. You 
going to Harvard. Jessica Lange is always just so phenomenal. <laughs> but no pressure. <laughs> God, my grandparents were married. <laughs> and I'm thinking about... They were married... My grandmother was 19. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and she was married. I know it's like a different time, but it's like... Wow. I can't even be... I'm in my 20s, and I can't even, like, imagine being married. Like, if you told me I'd be married in, like, two years, I'd be like... <laughs> I know <laughs> how I speak to people. I know. <laughs> Sometimes. Hi. Could you... <laughs> some, some random nice guy. Hello. Mm. Yep, you're dead. <laughs> Mom, please leave. <laughs> no. Send you off to be by yourself when you potentially have a eating disorder. Yeah. You know you really have anxiety when you feel it towards like for like fictional characters. Like, oh, oh. I don't know. I'm not going to ask for... There's Michelle Williams. That had to be a Springsteen fan. That's good. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, how old is Facebook? How old is Facebook? Wait, what? Is this something different? I'm so confused. Did, did what's his name, Zuckerberg, like, use an actual, like, what's it called? Oh, thing, physical thing. I don't know if you guys are, oh, Freddie Mercury, respect. Did they use an actual, um, the thing that already existed for, like, a name for something that, for a, oh my god, for a new thing, for a, the website, I'm so sorry. Brilliant dog. So I'm just telling myself, this is what I'm supposed to be doing in college. <laughs> but I'm 
I'm not. I'm sorry I have a goofy laugh. That's just how I laugh. Oh. Let's frolic through the fountain. Dang. That's writers. They're just like, mm, I'm gonna go right to my, right to my writing. <laughs> Sorry, I think I'm really clever, apparently. Ooh. I have not really um, seriously listened to Lou Reed. Not that I just I've never tried out his music. That doesn't mean I don't like him. It's just I've never I don't know. There's just certain things that you want to you know get around to, but you never do, or it takes a while. I don't know. Interesting. I almost wrote down on my, um, um, I, for some reason, I write a lot in my head when I'm outside collecting carts on my job. I almost wrote on the store directory that I, um, because I had, like, I'm like, I didn't want to lose it in my head, you know? But it's like, if I stopped and I just, like, would scribble, that would be a... I, they would probably see me. What? Oh, acid. X? I've never heard of this. You could tell I'm, like, so into the party scene. She's like, okay. Ew. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit of a germaphobe. I'm like a borderline germaphobe. Feed the animals in the zoo. Well, all right then. Just drop my mic again. Such a bad habit. Jason Biggs to the rescue, y'all. She's like, I don't know where I am. You in the men's room. She's like, I don't know. Ultra sensitive. <laughs> She's like, whoa, it's the Matrix. <laughs> Lou Reed's looking for you. Is that real or hallucination? I think what I was going to talk about earlier was like that part where a bunch of people are just like zooming past her and like a and she's like I'm a stranger that was well done
The rage should be dead. <laughs> Jeez. That's pretty forward. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Like a normal 19 year old. <laughs> oh, you lost your virginity. It's a lost your virginity party. <laughs> totally. Oh wait, this is 2001 or 2003? I was lied to. Rotten Tomatoes doesn't even have it correct. It's 2001. Now she's like, now I'm just going to be like everyone else. Oh, I think I know what happens. I remember. Shit, 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 shit. But oh, SpaghettiOs. Oh. Oh, that's right. Oh, wait, never mind. I was wrong. I think it happens later. Oh, it's the 80s. Well, yeah, it's like, hey, I wrote something, and it was good. They just get it, man, you know? Uh-oh. Oh, he's, oh yeah, that's right, he takes pictures of like, oh, he's like a inappropriate guy. Four years. Oh, gosh. I hate, it's just so annoying, like, in movies and, and in real life when you hear about people that are like, oh, I'm not gonna, like, see my kid for, like, seven years and then just, like, show up again and expect them to, like, respect me and love me. Oh, uh, flashback. Oh. 
Oh, so he's like a photographer. Oh, he leaves it. But then all but then as well, she's she wants a a good relationship with him. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. You could still, I like the difference of, uh, what's it called? You like the, di it's the difference between worldview of, like, Ruby has hope, and Elizabeth is like, nah, that's not how it works. Headbang. Whoa, there. Oh, that's right. She, like, just does her process and forgets she has a roommate. That's right. I remember this now. Ruby is, I believe, um, a sounding board character. Ruby's really good at, like, Ruby's the ally, but then she's going to basically, um, she could easily, I think she becomes um, an opponent in a way where, like, they turn on the main character. And Ruby's, like, uh, hopeful and everything, but... Um, you know, she's obviously not. She's depressed. Well, you're by yourself. Writer's block. God, the spinning. Ruby's that good contrast of showing, you know, um... Elizabeth Lizzie's um Lizzie's like mental state I can barely see the ink oh god the Dang. Hey, it doesn't help that you'll go... Don't like. She's going nuts. I mean, when you don't, you get like sleep psychosis too. Trust me, like when I'm, I'll like write when I'm tired. But when I notice that I'm like, 
I really can't do it more, I stop, you know? You have to go to sleep. Who? Oh, yeah. This part. Oh, that's right, Anne Heche. Sassy. <laughs> Shit. No. I like that she's wearing like a skirt and some like <laughs> pantyhose, nylons, whatever they're called. Nope, not today. Oh, I remember. Now I'm remembering things. Like she becomes like the doctor um, comes in more often. I should have peed before I started this. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I get so excited and then I just start. Oh, honey. Oh, no. That's a good shot. That's beautiful. Now it's showing distance and a gap in a relationship between her and Ruby. Oh, but now I really want to come and talk to you. <laughs> it was an accident. <laughs> an accidental blow job, really? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, damn, heavy. That's the problem, too. It's like people are just like, why are you this way? And you're like, it's a freaking mental condition. Is that a Sprite bottle? Sorry, I'm like... It's like, Mom, calm down. <laughs> Might be worse that you're by yourself. She likes Joy Division, Velvet Underground. That's like depressing music. Like, you know? I mean, I like... Ooh. Shit. Like, well, shit, sorry. Sorry, I'm fucked up in the head. Um, what was I saying? Um...
I don't know. I can't remember. Sorry. Oh, I was gonna say like I like I like um sad music. I like s music that deals with like deep feelings. Ooh. It's the 80s and would hardly be a problem. Ugh. I'm pausing this and going pee. I have to. I was being dumb. Mother, leave. Mother. Right? But mother, you... <laughs> I like the stapler just right next to the ashtray. I know what that's like when you just like have all that stuff in the back of your head, just like, I have to do this. I, you know, because you can't rest till that crap is freaking just done, you know? Pear tarts. I would eat that. I would totally eat that. You can't hang out in my room if you drink or do drugs. Or... Or was it unless you drink or do drugs? Because he does do it. I... Did I not hear that properly? No. Whew. Heavy. Heavy. That's exactly what it is. Those pillars. No. That looks like a good salad. I think it was a salad. I think it's a, wait, what is it? Maybe it's not a salad. I only got a glance at it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's not. I'm sorry, it's not a salad. <laughs> I was way off. I saw green and I saw like other, like, ch I thought I saw chicken. That's it. I was gonna say the same thing. I'm just really fucked up, yeah. No. Mm. Not like me. Shit. No. I'm 
Exactly. Shit. Mm. No. The narration is good because, um, oh, that was a weird, um, cut. Did you get, was I the only one that saw that? The Freud part. <laughs> um, the narration is good because, you know, she's a writer and I like that she... She's not simply always describing what's happening because that's what's annoying. Is like, well, it's a visual medium. We see what's happening. She is kind of just ta she's giving her her dark feelings words. You know what I mean? Nice. Nice. Probably depressing as fuck, but... Whew. Why would you? Excuse me. That's the thing, a lot of people th think that their... their trauma or their... Like, well, everybody has actual... They, they, they'll say things like, oh, well, people have actual problems. It's like, well, everyone has their own degree of, of wounds and damage, you know? Isn't that what functioning is? Yeah. Shit, that like... Wow. That's a way to explain it. Isn't that what functioning is? Like, you just keep... <laughs> going? It's, you know... When you don't... You know, when you have, like, issues and you can't function... Like... In society or with other people and do basic things that's the that's the time when it's a problem like if you have anxiety or depression or whatever that's the time when it's when it's when you can't even function it interrupts your way of life that's when it's like time to get help oh this scene you'll just be like wow Oh, shh. That was a good cut. A good thing with scenes, just so you know. Oh. Hello. Um. Um. Anyways, what was I saying? Uh, what was I saying? I'm so sorry. Um, oh yeah, so when you're when you're cutting from scene to scene, it's good to do contrasting images. So like and the the way they chose it was really 
clever. You have the grandparents that are like, ah, and then she's just in her dark room drinking. Um, so, or you, you cut on something that is similar, whether it's like color, sound, da, 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 da. That's anyway, that's a free little writing lesson that I've learned so that you don't have to pay a bunch of tuition to learn that shit. So she, it's so weird because so they did exchange numbers. Is that champagne? How does he know her birth? I'm so confused. Did they know each other from high school? No. It's the. Um, oh, she reminds me. <laughs> she reminds me of my friend's grandma, who like, like my friend. He was. He's like my. I mean, we're not. He stopped hanging out with me for what... I don't even know why. He went off to college and then just stopped hanging out with me. He was like my brother, and his family was like my second family. She reminds me of, of his grandma, and I'm just like... <laughs> his grandma lo Like, she just... we. Oh, my gosh. Shit. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, God. Poor. Oh. oh, no. I would tell you. <laughs> oh. Ooh. It's a drunk person, but it's like, it's specifically her drunk, if that makes any sense. Oh, it's heartbreaking. This scene. Like, your grandparents show up and you're just like, like, I fucking wish I was on drugs. What's wrong with her? Yeah. Yeah, it's like... The, you know... With that... Men, you know, with the depression, you're just like, I don't mean to... Uh, yeah. It's a cry for help, but you can't really verbalize it that way, or word it that way. I'm a terrible human being, you know how it is. No. Did he just say? No. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I just want to pretend like we have a normal relationship, right? It's like... <laughs>
Well, so you got you got the mom that raised their kid, so she's extra. What are you gonna make her feel bad? Jesus. Make her feel bad for just being mentally. Jeez. Jesus. Oh, God. It's not her fault. God. This is just heartbreaking. Like, where's her Oscar for this? Come on. I mean, and you, and she likes talking to her dad because her dad doesn't, you know, judge her. It's like, you know, the parent that's in your life is too involved, and then it's like you parent that's not in your life, when they do come around, they don't, they're not judging you because they don't know you, so it's like, okay, let's pretend like we have a regular relationship. <laughs> Shit. Wow. Wow. I didn't even pay. I went I went to talk therapy. We did an hour. Right? Yeah, it's like what There's people that know they have a fear or problem. It doesn't yeah. It's like it doesn't change that you have a fucking problem. Um, what was I saying earlier? It's not, she's like, it's not a breakthrough, Doc. He wanted to see you. <laughs> Precious. He finds you interesting because you are interesting. Maybe he likes Springsteen too. I like her belt. It's really random, but I like her belt. Well, it's not random. He's a nice boy. But I love him. And that's a lot to put on a person, just to, like, make them your savior. You know what I mean?
you need like love, you know? It's hard. Oh, that's hard. Dang. You need love, you need affection. I don't know why I like sing and make up songs on the spot when I do these. I just do. They need love and affection. He's like, well, okay. Um, he seems just so nice. You can just tell by the way he, like, you know, was like, okay, I guess I'll take off my shirt. All right, then. Like, he's nice. Ruby! Ruby, Ruby. Oh, no! That's right! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah. Cha. He likes pictures. <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh god. He brought his Nikon. What the heck? You're a distant dude. No. Every four years, you dick. Bro. Oh my god. Dude, you're a schmuck. Deadbeat. Dude, like, take care of your child. Odd way of showing it, my man. At least she's got like a nice guy. Who are you calling? Isa boy. Tall enough.
Oh, it's her mother, she called. Like, it's either her mom or her or Ruby, but I, I couldn't remember. Get it, get it. It's happened. That one guy that went to the bar. He was like, so cringy. Uh-oh. Just gonna freak out. He's just waiting for his drinks. Calm down. He didn't do anything. I know she's insecure, but it's like... She doesn't want to be uh, rejected, but it's like, come on, girl. She's like, I don't know. She's like, I never know anymore, girl. Boy. Poor thing. She thought she was being rejected. Freaked out. He's such a nice person. <laughs> Jeez, that's all you're supposed to say. The hell? rather quickly. Because your brain just kind of like transforms it into, you know. Uh. Aw. She's like, she's like, oh, never mind. He likes her. Aww. Aww. That breaks my heart. Why? <laughs> Aww. She expects the people, like, when she, you know reacts intensely to like just leave and because she pushes people away but um she's surprised because this guy is like I you know I'm sorry like I didn't realize that you were very affected by it so that's why she's like oh shit like you really care That's why it's, you know, it's working because she's surprised that he's not, you know, just full on. Oh, crap. I paused it for like two seconds. It may be off by like a half a second, but.
Aww. No. 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 He's good for her, you know? He's, like, really good for her, you know? With, like... Just the way he, like, approaches her and everything. He just... He doesn't want to hurt her. It's really, you know... I can't remember how... I kind of remember how it ends, but... I saw the pineapple and I thought it was Spongebob's house. <laughs> It is actually, but not specifically that pineapple. Nice. She feels so bad. Oh, that's a Bob Dylan poster? That's kind of cool. Bob Dylan, Patti Smith. It's like the same poster. She, like, one of them is the same poster she has in her dorm. The mom just like decorated it. Yes. His mother. That's an interesting name. Rafe. <laughs> oh. It's like, the, why is the mom so, you know, oh yeah, sure. It's like she doesn't believe her, you know? Where are they at? Like a Ritz? Ritz Carlton? <laughs> I don't know. Whoa! Shit. I'm dating him? Fuck you for saying that. Whoa.
Ja. Aren't they 19? How are they, like, drinking wine in a public place? Why would you say that? Why would you why would you just be like, "Oh, not really?" What? Dang. Oh, shit. Why would you say that to a person? I know she's, like, miserable, but it's like, what the fuck? That's a good line, though. I'm just imagining how much painful, how, how painful it must be to be you. Whew, there's so many lines in this movie that you're just like, damn, so well written. No. It's not really his mom, it's his sister. Oh, I think it's like he's embarrassed of his sister. He shouldn't be. Oh. Oh, it's like a single mom. Mom's just used to it. Oh. Wait, what? Um... She's project... No... You like other people's misery? What the fuck? She's just projecting. It's like she's making it... Ugh. That is... Oh, what's the word? Exhausting. God, when people think they're just being... 
constantly. It's always about them. Gotta help himself first. It's like... Hmm. It's heartbreaking! Damn it. Jessica Lang is like heart, like she's so good. Jessica Lang is like one of the best, I swear. Wait, you just like up and left, so she's just like. No. Shit. Oh, this is so heartbreaking, everything. He wants fun. He doesn't want misery. It's the opposite, Lizzie. He doesn't want misery. Okay, that's the thing. I'm dealing with one of my characters where they... A lot of people... A lot of people are afraid to open themselves to be loved in the fear of rejection, which is what she has. And with love and, you know, they're afraid to... Trust people. Um, and my character is dealing with that. Um, but you also, one thing you have to um, accept is that um, in order to open up and to be loved, there's also that you can be hurt again. You know, if, especially if you've, been hurt, if you've been hurt before. It's like, this is really cool. This effect right here. Um, but yeah, it's like you have to open, it's, they have to get into that place of, um, if they don't want to live in a, if they don't want to, you know, cause usually characters and people are living in a bad, uh, like sub, they're living suboptimally or whatever. Um, so you'll have, oh shit, oh shit, hit him. 
Oh, sure. Oh, shit. Is this what I think it is? Oh! What's great is the... Oh, God! Damn it! I forgot this scene. My... Oh, wow. Damn. Just the cuts back and forth. Just chaos. A different kind of chaos. Let her get dressed. Because when they help it, it, it doesn't, you know, they get treated like crap. It's just the... I like the close-up of her taking it, you know, and the bright colors of the, the, the pill. And how just things move fast, things move, time moves differently. It's like when I got my wisdom teeth taken out and they gave you, oh my gosh, like, they gave me Vicodin, but I never took it because I didn't need it. I was more, I was more so, I just bled the entire day, pretty much, and I was swollen, but I wasn't hurting. And they gave my sister, like, three different pain medications, like, what the, who the fuck does that? It's getting your wisdom teeth take out, taken out. It's not, that's the problem. It's like, they're just like, here, here's three different pain medication. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Jeez. Um, I mean, I took antibiotics because you don't want to get, you know, uh, infection. <sighs> fuck. No. Both mother and daughter are like, I'm just going to be by myself. They're realizing that, you know, you have to have someone take care of you. So she's in the mother's shoes, like, I can stay with you. And the mom's like, no. Like It's kind of like with, um, when the... When the mom was like, I took I took some days off work. And she's like, no, I do better by myself. So they're both, they've learned this lonesomeness from each other. You know? No! Why would you say that, Grandma? She was taking, um, Prozac. She's in the hospital. not her fault she has a mental illness I was gonna write something that I forgot
Yeah. Because when you're so preoccupied with your sadness. Now she's taking care of her mom. The roles switch. Aw. That's why it's like, you know, you don't want to be sad with a breakup and then you're like, oh shit, my kid, she needs me and she's amazing. Aww. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure to put on somebody. Aw. Hmm. Hmm. No. It's so well written. Like, how is this 28% on Rotten Tomatoes? What are they smoking? It's well written. It's... This, the shots are good. The crack house. Aw. She's like... It's, you know... Yeah. Yeah. United States of Depression. Also, it's like... Yeah. Also, when she said that about it's a Prozac nation, it's like... It's like, when you have something like anxiety or depression, you feel like you're the only person, and that, like, nobody understands, but really, it affects a lot of people. It really does. There's a lot of people that feel terrible. <sighs> Breathing space. Oh. Feels like everything's covered up. Wow. Wow. Where's this at? Her house? Like she has an office? I guess so. Ooh, honey, 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 honey. Hey. Don't watch it if you're a... Uh... Ooh. Squeamish. Ha! I'm sorry, I just, I don't... <sighs> I do that when I'm nervous. Aw! I hate this part. What's happening? Oh no. The scene just like rips your heart out. It's like she's looking at her like, are you gonna fucking do it? Part of her knows she's not gonna do it, but still. It's like, wouldn't you just remove your child? 
Well, I guess it, I guess if you like look at a, at a person, they're not going to do it. But still, ugh. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, it's like you. I get it, girl. It's like you're stuck in your brain, and you want like a a sign from beyond. But you don't get it. Nope, they're not. Yeah, that's the thing is like the the pills you're not gonna it's not gonna completely cure you of your problem. Or your, you know, your illness or whatever. It was published and became an international bestseller. More than 300 million prescriptions are filled every year for Prozac and other antidepressants. Yep. <sighs> yep. So, that's the credits. Wow. Um. Yeah. I wrote down a lot. I wrote down a lot of, like, you know, some notes. My basic thoughts. And I'll be sharing those on my other channel. It's a good movie. I don't know why people are like, you know, Rotten Tomatoes isn't always correct. There's like, they're, it's, they're more often incorrect than they are correct. Like, well written. Um, the performances are great. Like, I don't know why we haven't, I feel like, this movie is kind of considered like a hidden gem. She does, okay, Christina Ricci is amazing. She has all those emotions. Jessica Lange, everybody in this movie is just top-notch acting skills, performances. Michelle Williams, uh, there, Michelle Williams is in the last commentary track I did. Wow, just... It's powerful. Um, there's lines in there that you're just like, oh, it's it's heartbreaking. If you, just know that like when you watch this movie, uh, it's it's depressing. Well, it's about depression. It's a, it's a story of depression, but it's powerful. I feel like it really gets you into the brain of a person who has felt depressed and and you understand I feel like this could help people understand mental illness more and the you know the whole title Prozac Nation is you know uh, that there is that thing of it affects a lot of people like we think like when you're going through stuff and you want to always like turn to somebody and go you don't understand like I when somebody asks me you know, for instance, I'm using like a random, you know, I'm anxiety, an anxiety example, because I know anxiety very fucking well. But like, when somebody goes, uh, hey, uh, why don't you go ask somebody for napkins over there? And you in your brain scream, like, you scream internally. That's anxiety. And that you want to tell people, it's like, you don't understand what I go through. I remember when I revealed that I was going to therapy for, like, anxiety. Um, <laughs> I That was only when I, like, talked about it. Like, I said, like, yeah, I'm, like, taking this, you know, generic brand of sertraline. Um, or, no, generic brand of Zoloft, sorry, which is, it's called sertraline. And my, like, my aunt's like, oh, I used to have, like, crippling anxiety. I couldn't even go into, like, a room. And then my, my grandmother's like, oh, yeah, I had I had anxiety really bad, too. It's like, why aren't we, like, you know, 
it's like I didn't know that until I was open. I'm open about talking about it. I'm not open about talking about everything that I have weird, uh, that I have a weird fear of and that I, I have, because there's, a, to an extent, you're embarrassed of certain things that make you anxious or feel bad, which is not, you know, I, we shouldn't feel embarrassed because it's something that affects people. And it's just something that, like, I have, you know, like, where I just feel, you may feel, like, bad because, you know, I don't know, clowns make you, you know, nervous. Or some something makes you nervous. Something that is considered, like, a normal everyday de- activity makes you nervous. But I feel like once you find people that are your friend and they get you, you can open up to them. It's just when you talk to somebody about it, like my mom is like my freaking, you know, therapist pretty much half the time where she is like, you know, give your thoughts words because sometimes it's hard to explain, you know, your feelings. I'm getting really personal and deep, but that's just that's this movie is just good to uh, help understand mental health and mental illness. It's um. I've never read the book. The book is probably very different, but that's adaptation for you. You have to adapt. Anyways, it's great. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed the commentary track. I will be filming my review in like three seconds, so see you on the other channel as well. Bye.